Hi, I'm Luana and welcome to our new video. I'm travelling around Europe for five months with my family. You can find us on navarama.com and on our YouTube channel, 5 Months 3 Kids. If you like the video, please drop us a like rating down below and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Now here's what we want to tell you about Riga. The Riga Railway Bridge started construction in 1909 and is now more than 100 years old. It crosses the Daugava River approximately 1,000 kilometres from the source. The railway bridge is the oldest standing bridge in Riga. In Latvian, the bridge is called Zelskela Tilt. At night, the bridge is lit up in beautiful colours. The House of Blackheads is a building in the old town of Riga. It was built in the 14th century for the Brotherhood of Blackheads, a guild for unmarried merchants, shipowners and foreigners in Riga. The building was bombed to ruins on June 28, 1941 and the remains were bombed by Soviets in 1948. It was rebuilt from 1995 to 1999. started on Riga Cathedral in 1211 and in 2011 it celebrated its 800th birthday. It is located near the Daugava River. The cathedral is the largest medieval church in the Baltics. It is also one of the oldest sacred buildings in the Baltics. With a population of 700,000, the city of Riga remains the largest city within the Baltic states of Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia and contains a third of the population of Latvia. An amazing fact is how there are over 800 Art Nouveau style buildings. These are in large numbers because the old leaders wanted an abnormally large beautiful city. Standing and towering over the surrounding buildings, it is thought to be the tallest structure of its time in Latvia. Construction in 1955 that may seem a bit late for an only 107 meter tall building. This building is the Academy of Sciences of Latvia. You can see a panorama of Riga atop this old Art Nouveau style building, nicknamed Stalin's Birthday Cake due to being built in memorial of Stalin's reign. The river running through Riga sets the scene as architects design their buildings around it. Many massive structures are seen from most points along the river, such as the Latvian television station, the TV tower, the National Library, is also definitely easy to spot with its distinctive pointy top. Most importantly, the Dom Cathedral, be seen as well. The National Library of Latvia, aka Gismus Pils, was built in Riga in 1919 and holds over 4.1 million books. It has 480 staff members. That is a lot. Riga Central Market is Europe's biggest market and was built from 1924 to 1930. It is 72,300 square metres, 778,000 square feet, with more than 3,000 trade stands. That is big. The Freedom Monument in Riga was unveiled to the public in 1935. The monument consists of 56 sculptures which depict Latvian history and culture and was funded entirely by donations from residents. It is a memorial for those who fell during Latvia's struggle for independence. At the bottom of the monument, the motto for fatherland and freedom is written. At the top resides a nine metre sculpture depicting the symbol of freedom, a young woman holding three stars above her head. 